I don't know, man. I thought about it, but I don't know. I doubt it. It was a, it, yeah, I changed it to the Neighborhood Awards. I used to, on my radio show, I'm in 112 cities. I used to have celebrity friends of mine come to Las Vegas, and I would hold nominations for, for things that were great in the neighborhood, like best church, best teacher, best barbershop, best auto detail, best soul food restaurant, best coach, and they would vote all over the country. We'd get to the four finalists with the top four vote getters from around the country, and we'd have another national vote, and I'd bring all four of the nominees from each category out to Las Vegas. So for, like, best car wash, I had Snoop, you know, introduce the category and give away the prize because he was in car wash, you know. Best, uh, best church choir, I'd have Yolanda Adams and Kirk Franklin, you know. I'd give uh, best teacher or something, I'd have Judge Mathis or some TV personality, best uh, something. I have just a bunch of celebrity friends of mine. And it's such a cool thing for a regular person to win a national award and have a celebrity. The, the thing for us was celebrities get to give out the awards instead of winning them. And you, the people would be beaming, man. The guy win best car wash. I mean, because this dude just got the best car wash in the hood. I mean, when's he ever going to get an award, right? And he come through 15,000 people and the lights be on him and do have his suit on, stand up there giving an acceptance speech. And it was pretty good. I did it for 13. I did 13 years. Uh, uh, you know, I started having trouble with the sponsors because I called it the Hoodie Awards for years. The sponsors were saying that was too ghetto. So I changed it to the Neighborhood Awards and they didn't pay no more money for that. Don't tell me how to act and then you, you got no reward for it. When I conform to what you want to do and then you me with the money, I can just do me.